So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and protect now, and hopefully he'll just KO himself. Look at this. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I love it so. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. And welcome to another Pokemon Days! We've got a Stun Fisk out here, the derpiest of derpy pokes. Uh, but he inflicts good status, so that's nice. There's an Avalug with Recover, which is interesting. Volt Switching Lantern is okay. Uh, Stealth Rocks on Wormadam Trash will be nice. And Spikes on Cloyster, so there's some synergy there. And Aerodactyl seems to be the only really, really heavy hitter that I have. So I'll probably try to save him for a sweeper or something like that. He hits me with the Seed Bomb right off as I go for the Toxic on him. I'm not going to stay in here and try and set up Stealth Rocks with uh, Stun Fisk. I'm gonna go into the Wormadam Trash, who's gonna resist Seed Bomb by four times. So that'll be nice, even though I don't think I can do that much to the Gorgeist um, on my own. He missed a Will-O-Wisp, which is really nice, because that would cripple my Gyro Ball. Uh, but even if he does it again, it'll be fine. I really just wanna get some Hazards up before he starts uh, switching Pokes in. Cause Hazards make, make Pokes squishy. If I can get all my hazards up, you'll see just how devastating it can be. So he sends in an Agaslash, decides not to go for the Will-O-Wisp again. I cannot do anything against that shit, so in comes the Stunfisk. He sword stances, which is really, really bad. I don't think I'm going to be faster, but I'm going to try and burn it with a Scald. Oh, it's going to hurt! Oh, no! Sacred Sword! <laughs> so, yeah, he's got a Life Orb, too. So Stunfisk is fucking out of there! We're gonna switch into Lantern now. I guess I'm gonna go for the Hydro Pump. Just, uh... It, sh it might be able to kill him from here. I'm not too sure. If he hits me with another attack, it'll be... He'll be at like 80%, theoretically. And my Lantern does have a Life Orb, so... Maybe... No. Okay, yeah, with the, with the extra 10% from his Life Orb. Hooray! That was a huge threat. That could have gone very, very badly. I mean, it kind of did. We've got two crippled pokes and one dead, and uh, only one of his pokes is dead. And his Gorgeist is still looking relatively okay, so we're in a little bit of trouble here, but that's going to be just fine. He brings in the Metacham now, uh, so I'm going to Volt Switch, but he goes for the Fake Out, and done. Done, son! So, here comes Wormadam Trash, I'm gonna get the Toxic on him, and if he reveals he has High Jump Kick, I will protect, because he doesn't know I have that yet, <laughs> and it'll be a nice surprise, he'll lose 50% of his health. Hooray! Surprise! I think he's thinking really hard about what to do. Does he have Protect? Does he not? No, I'm gonna go for Toxic, bro, fucking come at me. Come at me, give me everything you got! Fucking Mega Evolved weird looking swami gandhi looking oh he missed the jump kick and i had him with the toxic that's fucking gorgeous so uh i'm gonna go ahead and protect now and hopefully he'll just ko himself look at this oh oh <laughs> i love it so good job Wormadam. high five <laughs> okay now my hand stinks like trash Ah, uh, fuck. Vaporeon is always a very bulky threat, so he's gonna hit me with Scald. Wormadam takes that relatively well, and I'll slap some Toxic on him. And I guess I'll just protect here to let the Toxic damage rack up, since Gyro Ball's not gonna do that much. And he goes for the Heal Bell, which is fucked. <laughs> There's literally nothing I can do to this thing now. I'll slap Toxic back on it. Oh, fuck. I missed! Um, I want to put Toxic back on it just so I can force him to use Heal Bell. Hopefully I'll get burned and die and get a free switch. No. Nope, nope. Nothing's going my way, it looks like. Well, we'll save Wormadam, I guess. Yeah, we'll see what Cloyster does. I think he's going to go for Heal Bell, so... Oh, fuck, he doesn't. Ah! Cloyster should have got a free switch, but he did not. Uh, because he's just letting the Toxic damage rack up. But that's fine. I'm gonna start setting up spikes. Eventually, you're gonna have to heal Bell, you suck a motherfucker. And uh, the more the more he 
waits on doing it, the more damage he's going to take, which is wonderful. There he goes. Oh, he's all healed. Look at him. And my spikes are all set up, which is going to be fucking fantastic. Yes! All the hazards! Except toxic spikes, but really, I've been throwing around so much toxic with Worm Down Steel that that doesn't matter. Here comes the fucking Rock Blast, which is pretty nice damage considering uh, Vaporeon's high physical defense. But I don't think Aerodactyl's gonna KO from 51%, so I'm gonna try Avalug, who has pretty good attack and physical defense, but his special defense is shit. So, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go for the Toxic here, and maybe Earthquake would have been a smarter choice. I don't know. He goes for Wish. Um, yeah, since he has Wish, I think maybe we're a little fucked here. So he goes for the heal bell there. Earthquake does 40%, which means I should have gone for it earlier and I would have KO'd this fucking thing. But, uh, that's fine. I'm going for Toxic some more, just to get him to fucking heal bell. I do have Recover on my Avalug, so as long as I don't get burned, uh, I think he should do relatively well. Alright, so here comes Earthquake again. And he's going to kill me next turn with Scald. I think he's going to go for the Scald and not the Wish. So I will actually switch into Wormadam Trash and fodder it out. Just so I can get a free switch into Aerodactyl. Who will probably be able to KO that thing um, after the toxic damage it's going to take right now. Yeah, 16%. Aerodactyl, go fucking show him out. Dumb boy! Get that shit in there! And then, uh, yeah, Mega Evolve with the Aerial Ace, so I'm guaranteed not to miss. And that thing sacks the Vaporeon, which was a huge threat. Huge, huge threat to my Sweeper. Um, and basically my Sweeper's all I have left. <laughs> I can try and switch into Avalug and heal him up, but... Wormadam's definitely gonna go down to Aerial Ace or Fire Fang. But I don't want to miss, so here comes the Aerial Ace. And that... The Entry Hazards took him down 49% which is huge. Gorgeist isn't even weak, and it took him down a huge amount. <laughs> and, uh, here comes the Aerial Ace. On the Gorgeist small, he's not gonna be faster than fucking Mega Evolved Aerodactyl, for sure. I think we pulled this out! Yeah, Lilligan! Hi, buddy! And look at that fucking huge damage on switching in. That was a fresh Lilligan. Now it's fucking dead. Ah! Oh! So this has been Pokemon Mondays, friends. I do hope you've enjoyed. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy, I hope you will like, comment, subscribe, challenge me to a battle. See you guys next time. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See. You